All right. So we've got a uh, Fender's Fender's Blues Deluxe uh, reissue amp here, and uh, we've got a little problem with it right now at the moment. Uh, if you turn it on, if you wiggle the power cord, you'll get some. It'll come off and on, which is really bad because it it'll there'll be some arcing that happens inside here, and it'll pr produce some heat down here, and you could get some other issues um, as far as inside the amp. So there's a strain relief nut right here. I'm going to take this back panel off and you'll see that strain relief and that is probably what's causing the issue. So we will get that, get this panel off very delicately. I'm going to try and keep these little washers with their screws. It's important um, when you get an amp open. I've already un unplugged it from this. Don't leave it plugged in while you're servicing it. And uh, there are some capacitors in here, and they will hold a charge. Um, so you need to wait just a little bit of time before you go reaching into an amp um, because they will shock you. Even right now, if you were to touch the right spot, you will get a shock. Probably not been off of here since it was manufactured. So, okay. So, let me see if I can adjust you a little bit here. So here, right here, is where there's this rest restraining nut, um, and that power comes up and goes in. Let me uh, readjust the focus here. And uh, so we got this little guy right here. And if you notice, oh, look at there, we already found it. So this might be an easier repair than most. This is just pulled off the end here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get real close because that, that's a nice find. So we've got we've got this guy right here that's just pulled off the end there and that's because it's been pulled out it's been pulled down from here so that has just come up here and pulled that wire straight off so this is an easy fix we don't have to do any soldering nothing we're just going to readjust the strain control and uh... And we'll probably, I like to put um, a knot in the cord, a very loose knot, but a knot just above the strain relief. So that if it does get pulled down, it kind of hits that knot and won't go any farther. So we'll get the strain relief out. These, these can be a bit of a pain. You gotta work them up. I don't want to have to take all the wire out, so. I'm going to kind of work them up high enough to get that out there. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to touch anything else. It is. I'll show you this. The way you the way you get these out, the cord cord runs up through there you can kind of trap trap the cord in like that and then once it's in you'll see there's a little ridge right here 
um, you get it in there and you squeeze it hard enough to push it up through the, the hole that they have cut in here. So now we're just going to get this guy up a little higher. We're going to make sure this is on. There's a loose switch. We'll tighten that up. So real careful, we've got some chrome up here, we want to be nice to it. So that's nice and tight. And then this guy is the offending one, that's the one that got pulled off the end. And I'm just going to just, just tighten him up a little bit, just a very gentle squeeze here. And then, plug him back in. Now, when I put the cord relief in, Oh no, I wanted to put a knot in that. Let me... I'm going to have to take this off here. Take off this zip tie. Grip that zip tie. Yeah, that's fitting a lot better. I like that a lot better. Gonna pay, keep, make sure you pay attention to where you keep things on and off from. Um, I don't know. You don't want to switch polarity up on it. I've got the ground that's screwed in over here, so we'll take the ground out. Get that in there. Alright. So here's where we're going to there's where it was restrained before so we need if we put a knot in it we got to make sure the knots down here so we have enough wire left over so I'm just going to gently knot this there's the there's the strain relief spot now even if the strain relief doesn't work we still have plenty of wire up in there and we're going to mount the strain relief again you just Open it up, you put the cord inside, put it shut and squeeze it into the hole. So we're going to put the cord inside. I'm going to do this right on the edge here. It's easier said than done because you do have to compress the cord quite a bit. that gets pulled on unless you break the whole amp apart yanking on that cord it's never going to come down low enough to get into any trouble it's also if you wanted to put like a real long cord or you want to shorten your cord this is the way to do it um, you know to take this cord off um, you could cut this shorter and just um, put new put new spade connectors on there and a new ring connector for that uh, or you could maybe purchase a cord that's longer if you want something longer just make sure when you purchase your cord that it's the same gauge this is a 18 gauge which is a pretty actually a pretty lightweight cord you can get those just about anywhere if you make it real long you'll want to um, increase the gauge You want to increase the gauge if you make a real long run and put a hundred foot cord on something you need to make sure you have thicker wire gauging is kind of weird um, the higher the gauge the smaller the wire so when I say to increase the gauge you actually you actually need to um, buy a lower gauge wire they'll they go down for the larger wire so 12 is larger than a uh, 20 or 18. So from 18 you'd probably go to like 14. There's a booger to get started back there. Yeah. I'm going now. Now this this needs to be snug, but don't over tighten it. There's a there's just a thin piece of metal that's holding those threads. 
Again, you got to be careful which side was which. I know the black, this one has conveniently wires on the other side. So we got the black over here. That's nice and snug. We already crimped the neutral, the white wire. And if I can find a zip tie, we'll another zip tie on it. I don't know that I have one though. Let's see. We'll skip the zip tie. It's uh it's not really doing much up there anyway, so time to put the back panel back on and we'll try it out. Just precautionary, um, you don't have to put the back panel on to fire it up, but there is high, very high voltage in there, and you gotta watch out. A lot of these amps, especially this is a this is a reproduction tube amp. Um, some of these tubes take in excess of 400 volts, and so you're only coming in at 120, the line voltage. But once you go through the circuitry in here, it actually steps that voltage way up to send it to these tubes. So you really do need to, to be careful around them. So I'm just going to barely snug these in. Barely snug this in. And then we'll plug it in and see what we get. So, let's see if we can see this on there. Yeah, so we got light on. I'm going to tug on the cord a little bit. Yeah, doing good. Now we're we fixed our loose connection in there, and that was a that was an easy fix. All right, I'm just gonna put it back together. You don't need to see that.